in Spain, we have it never. It's never been a, something individual, but with teams. Uh, in my team, I started in 1992. Typical connection of the university in Barcelona, in Spain. Uh, and then I created the fourth ASP, Internet Service Provider, and also in Barcelona, because. Uh, Nobody had the chance to, to connect but the universities and most of the companies were asking for us uh, connectivity. That was in 1994, 1995. And later on, I, I was uh, selected by uh, the second telecom company uh, opening or trying to open the, the monopoly that was Telefonica for Spain. And then, uh, well, I was the director of the internet there. Well, uh, one of the things that I'm most proud of is uh, launching the, the free access in Spain. That means free <laughs> for that. Uh, as we were a telco carrier at the time, in, it was 1999, we developed a system in order to, to give free access. After that, uh, we made the flat rate one year later. Flat rate meaning that it, until that minute, in t until that time, it was only uh, by metered. Every minute you had to pay. So we created a flat rate, which made that in one year we doubled the population, the internet population of users in Spain. I'm really proud of that. And later on, I was involved also in the creation of the Spanix, is the neutral internet exchange, and other two. Uh, Nix, which is Catnix and Gaunix. Uh, in different parts of Spain, we created different neutral internet exchanges against uh, the telco operators. They, they didn't want it at the beginning. Now they're really happy with them. But at the beginning, it was really, really tough to, to, to create that. I'm really proud of creating, and I was the president later on for a few years. And, well, this is probably I would say the most uh, important things they have been involved. I would say it's a little cloudy. It's a little cloudy about uh, not respecting, I would say, the, the original terms that the internet was created. Not everybody is sharing, not everybody is. There's always this big tension against uh, free and then wallet gardens everywhere, uh, big companies trying to change the rules. I'm talking about Facebook, I'm talking about uh, big telco carriers where they want to create uh, not, uh, not neutral nets. Uh, that, and this is, but this is, this is the humanity. We are always doing these things, right? Uh, I am partly Mm, with a good, a big hope, uh, because the internet is changing everything, every sector, every everything. It's not a, but we we are two billion people, but we need to connect five more billion people. Uh, uh, not everybody knows to read and to write, even or to use a computer. But we are talking. Everybody knows how to speak. That means that probably. Uh, we would say voice over IP will be the, the next killer application for most of the countries that uh, are not developed and, and they don't have connection, connectivity. They will see the internet as a cheap, uh, I would say, telephone both, and, and they, they will start using it. Probably the biggest concern is if the internet gets broken in pieces. Uh, one of the best things now is that uh, the internet is one, it's unique, and you can connect end to end everywhere. We have been starting seeing places like in China that they have their own DNS systems, they firewalls, so they are breaking in the, the internet in different pieces. So for me this is a big concern because not anymore if they will start putting, you know, like country codes that different, uh, it's not unique anymore. Uh, that's that's a big concern for me. And later on, the the intrusion of countries which are not really 
democratic, I would say, uh, trying to, to control the internet. That's for me a, a big concern. Well, when we see that we can give uh, access to everybody, one of my goals is to connect these next five billion people that we need to connect. And, and imagine that you can give uh, the Wikipedia access to, to everybody, I mean everybody, uh, and this is really difficult, still difficult, because uh, the internet sometimes, especially in rural areas, is not easy to, to deploy. It's not easy because it's, it's expensive. But my hope is that this is like a virtual, I would say, circle, that virtuous circle, circle that uh, when you give access to a community, that community gets connected. Uh, as more users get connected, the, uh, the wideband price drops. If it drops, you can connect more, and more people get connected there, then you have uh, more applications, more people developing, and then it's the community, and every time the, the prices drop. Uh, and this is really good for for many for many places, which is doesn't happen in everywhere, in all the markets. But in this case, you know, uh, the white band prices are dropping really really fast. Keep it open. Try to keep it open. Try to keep it uh, neutral. This is really important and to teach as many engineers as we have been doing until, until now in most of the places, and to teach them the, cult the culture the, of openness, neutrality, uh, to share. That's, that's why the OSI protocols lost the world, because they were really, by the book, really uh, complicated. Uh, and, and the TCP IP solution was what they called quick and dirty, but it worked. Yeah? Uh, and it won the, this protocol wars because this important thing of, uh, I would say, of sharing on these principles that the internet has.